Okay, Coach Thatcher. First things first. How are the How are the crazy goats doing here today at Divisional, Divisional State here at OEC? They're doing well. They're, uh, we've got some beginners that are stepping into OEC for the first time, learning some good lessons, and uh, we've got some some hammers that are winning. You know, in talking to Tommy, I know you and Tommy talk a lot. You know, you're one of Tommy's mentors. Uh, he likes how this can involve kids who maybe not at the elite level yet, and whereas yeah. the Youngstown OEC State, yeah. everybody's thrown in, and you better be ready to go. Yes, yes. Do you like that? How they, how the level, how we can yeah, cater I, to the level. I think there has to be a progression. My, my biggest battle I fight is holding parents and kids back because there's a trend of kids going out and trying to get like 150 matches in a year, 100 matches in a year. It's you got to find the right stages, or else kids fall out of love for, for the sport. So. What I've seen today is you can't have a kid that's not maybe Youngstown OAC ready come here and get some matches where you're winning some matches, maybe losing some matches, but the main goal is learning. So it's uh, it's good. It's, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's Passion for the sport. Let's just talk about that. Yeah. How do you get them to, to grow a passion for the sport? Because that's, that's something you just said. Tommy said it, and I know you guys are pretty like-minded. Yeah. How do you build that passion? How do you help foster that in kids? So I think, I think I do probably more coaching with our parents than the kids. And it's, you know, we're, we're handed what their background and what their upbringing is and what they see every day at, at home. And it's a, it's a fine line of being giving hard truths and being tough on the kids with still making them like it. And as long as they like it, then their passion comes from with, with, with inside them. Um, we can say whatever we want to say, we can teach whatever we want to teach, but if they're not liking it, there is zero passion for it. Um, we're lucky because I have a huge group of wrestlers and a great great family base. Tommy has a huge group of wrestlers and family base, and we practice together two, sometimes three days a week. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just trying to find like-minded people that get that wrestling can be serious during practice and during competition, but once you get in the car, once you're driving home, it can be about other things. It's... It's hard. It's, it's really hard because we have some parents that truly think this is life or death, and it's not. <laughs> so we just, I think we just try to preach the same messages, um, give super hard truths to the kids and the family members to motivate the kids. Okay. You go from the stage in Madison Square Garden, 2016, the greatest heavyweight final ever. Yeah. I, you're there, right? I mean, I'm not making that up. Nope. That's a real thing. Um, and now you're in little gyms yeah. each weekend. You, you leave, you know, you're a coach at Oklahoma, you're a coach at Ohio State. Um, how hard has that been for you to adjust, or do you love the adjustment? What's that been like, leaving the highest yeah. level, yeah. now going down to the lowest level, yeah, the, the, so, the developmental level, right? Yeah, so I spent 20 years coaching at Penn State, Oklahoma, Ohio State. For probably 14 to 15 of those, I always ran a kids club at night, just on the side, because I enjoy the sport. To me, it, there, yes, there's a difference from don't, going back to back with Miles, Mar Miles Martin and Kyle Snyder winning national titles in Madison Square Garden to come into a venue like this coaching 10 year olds, there's a difference. But it's still the, this is what you're trying to teach, whether it's technically or a mental thing, and are the kids doing it or not. And the thrill is the exact same thing. I've had people laugh at me. Like, all right, well, maybe one of the greatest heavyweight matches of all time, you know. I would say coaching Kyle against Varner, returning with the champ to make his first Olympic team was bigger than that. But I had a kid lose a match in here today, but he learned something. And it's the, for me, it's the same exact thrill. We, I mean, I do privates at my house where I have kids come over once a week and we do two practices outside of that. And if they're developing their backside single and they hit it for the first time in a match, but lose 10 to four, they just hit that single for the very first time. And to me, that's what wakes me up almost every day, is that development of, I just helped a human being accomplish something that he wanted to do. I think that's what's special about it for me. Okay, you got another thing to go to. I told yeah. you I'd keep you short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can talk all day to you, you already no, know that. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to, but you got anything else for me? No, I'll get you some crazy goat gear. <laughs> hey, thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys. Yeah.